Uh, welcome back. This is our third series. And we are trying to identify our second way mark on our line. Uh, we are the Omega of modern Israel. So we know if we want to find hidden treasure, uh, like our second way mark, uh, then we could look at the Alpha of modern Israel. And we saw the second way mark in the Alpha of modern Israel was August the 11th, 1840. So that's why we started looking at the trumpets and the woes. So we'll continue on with that today. But first, let's open with prayer. Almighty God in heaven, we thank you for this message. And we pray that you will reveal hidden treasure to us today. Bless us with wisdom and understanding. In Jesus' name, Amen. Okay, so we saw the, the trumpets of Revelation. And um, their purpose is to punish Rome for its apostasy. Uh, the first four trumpets were the European <coughs> barbarian tribes. And they brought down Western Rome in Europe. And the fifth and sixth trumpets introduced a new power. Uh, 就是, uh, and this was Islamic fighters. Uh, and we'll see how they bring down Eastern Rome. Which was the area of Turkey and some surrounding areas. 然后就是这个东罗马就是土耳其和那个周围的国家。It was called the Byzantine Empire. 然后是这个土耳其它就是这个区域叫半暂停帝国。And it also extended into Syria and Iraq as well. 然后也是扩展到这个叙利亚、伊拉克这些地区。Okay, we saw in the first row, that it's, um, the first one, it started with the Saracens from Arabia. And then as time progresses, um, it moves to the Ottomans. 然后当这个时间往下进展的时候,就变成了这个奥斯曼的。Uh, 
and we saw that under the first woe, the they hurt the army of Rome. 然后在这个第一大灾祸的时候，他们伤害了这个呃罗马的军队，这个奥斯曼。And this was in Revelation nine. Verses five and ten. Ah,、uh, this is the they 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 Uh, uh, they were to hurt them five months. Uh, 然后说第呃、uh, 就是伤他五个月。第十节这里说要伤害他五个月。First of all, Islam. 第一个说这是呃、哦、第一个是伊斯兰，伊斯兰这个呃势力。Hurts the army of Rome. 呃，伤害了这个罗马的军队。But doesn't kill them. 但是没有杀害他们，只是伤害。Okay, so then we saw there was a time prophecy of five months. 然后我们看到了这个，呃，预言的一百五十年这个预言。And five months is a hundred and fifty years. 呃，五个月就是一百五十。Uh, if you use day for, if you use day for a year methodology. And this started on the twenty seventh of July. Ah, this is this one hundred and fifty years. This prophecy is one thousand two hundred and ninety nine. Twelve ninety nine. Twelve ninety nine. Ah, one thousand two hundred and ninety nine. Twelve ninety nine is when um. Osman became king. In 1299, this Osman became the Roman king. And that's Revelation 9:11. This is the first time. This is the first time. It was the first time. This is the first time. That these、um, Islamic fighters, these Islamic fighters, had a king over them. Oh, they had a king over them. Oh, they had a king over them. Oh, they had a king over them. Or a cent one central government. Or that is to make them have a central government. They have a central government. And it was on the twenty seventh of July. Is in this seventh of July. That Smith says. Ah, Smith says. Osman the first made his first incursion. Into the Byzantine Empire. Ah, 就是那个时候做了第一次来到这个呃拜占庭的这个帝国。And this was into the territory called Nicomedia. 然后这个是这个地地区叫 Nicomed Nicomedia 是一个，它就是讲的这个名字。So this was the start of the 150 years. 这个时间呢是一百五十年预言的开始的。Uh, so the 150 years ends on the 27th of July. 150 years of completion is on the 1449th of July. This is the last prophecy. Ah, 150 years of completion. 1449. Ah, uh, in the 1449th. So nothing that I can see actually happened on this date. 然后在这一天，其实我们没有看到特别的事情发生。But we know that this is where this time prophecy ends. 但是我们知道这个，呃，这个时间是那个一百五十年这个预言的时间的终止。So we know we can start to count the next time prophecy from here. 呃，我们知道这个时间呢是这个一百五十年预言的终止。呃、uh, ，虽然没有发生什么，但是我们知道，然后呢，也从这个时间呢，我们再继续下一个预言的呃计算
And the next time prophecy is found in the second one. Uh, yes, second one. Uh, so that's a quick recap. Uh, so let's look at the sixth trumpet or the second woe now. So it starts in Revelation 9:13. Uh, Verse 14 talks about four angels in the river Euphrates. Uh, Smith interprets the river Euphrates literally. Smith Because it does run through Turkey. Then he says that the four angels. Um, represent four leaders in this um, empire. Uh, and he says that they're loosed. <coughs> For an hour, a day, a month, and a year. So the time prophecy of the second woe uh, is an hour a day, a month, and a year. So one year is 360 days. Uh, a month is 30 days. Uh, um, it's 30 days in prophecy. And you can get that from the chronology of Noah's story. Plus one day. Now So so far that adds up to. Three hundred ninety-one days or years. Then you have to add on the hour. And one hour is one twenty-fourth of a day. So you'd have to do one twenty-fourth of a year. Because a day equals a year. And if you do that maths, it turns out to be 15 days. So the time prophecy for the second one. So uh, is 391 years and 15 days. And we know you start from the 27th of July, 1449。and if you calculate this, it comes out to August the 11th, 
呃，如果你这样子来计算的话呢，是，呃，这个预言结束是在一八四零年的，嗯、呃，一八四零年的八月二，八月十一号。And the prophecy says. 然后预言说。In in Revelation nine, uh, fourteen and fifteen. 在 Revelation nine, fourteen, fifteen. 在启示录书的九章十四到十五节。That this Islamic power is loosed for that amount of time. 在这个时候，伊斯兰的这个势力呢，就被呃呃，就是被解开，被松开。And therefore, on August the eleventh, eighteen forty. 所以，在这个十呃一八四零年的八月十一号这个日子。There is an Islamic power which is restrained. Now, this Islamic power is restrained. In the Great Controversy, in the Great Controversy, Ellen White talks about this date. White talks about this date. It's Great Controversy three three four point four. In the Great Controversy three three four point four. To three three five point one. 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 Three three And from 1840 to 1844, the work went forward very fast. Their work went forward very fast. Uriah Smith says that thousands became very interested. 然后成千的人，他们啊啊、呃呃，就是比较喜欢这个预言。So Smith talks about this. 啊、呃、，Smith 讲到了这这些。In Daniel and the Revelation. 在这个《但以理》和《启示录书》的这个注释里面讲到这些。Pages five one five. 啊，在乌利亚·史密斯。啊、uh, ，在五百一十五到五百一十七这里。To five one seven. 啊，对，在五百一十五到五百一十七，这个乌利亚·史密斯的，呃，《但以理》和《启示录》的注释里面讲到。The twenty seventh of July, fourteen forty nine. 一四四九年的七月二十七日。Is the beginning. Of this time prophecy. Uh, is this the second great plague? Uh, the prophecy's beginning. Um, and as I said, there was no event on the twenty seventh of July. I just said this. In 1449, on the twenty seventh of July, there was no event on the twenty seventh of July. But in January of 1449, but uh, usually, 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 The Byzantine Emperor, this Byzantine Empire, had to acquiesce power to the Ottomans. He had to give his power to the Ottomans. He had to give his power to the Ottomans. He had to ask permission of 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 the Ottomans. Before he took his throne. Before he took his throne. 呃，坐上这个王位之前 ，and that was Constantine the tenth Paleologus。那个就是这个君士坦丁的，呃，第十四，他叫什么？嗯 ，Paleologus 这个名字。So this Byzantine emperor understood that the Ottomans were actually more powerful than him。然后这个拜占庭他这个帝国，他觉得这个奥特曼其实比他呢是更加的有权利，有这个势力。That's how this time prophecy starts. 
这个就是呃，我呃，这个怎么样？这个呃，第二大灾祸的这个时间性预言的开始。And because you can show the end from the beginning in parable methodology, we find the same situation on August the eleventh, eighteen forty. 我们也发现了同样的事情是发生在这个一八四零年的八月十一号这一天。But this is where Islam is loosed, so more powerful. 然后这个时候是在呃伊斯兰呃教呢被松开是有更大的能力，它其实伊斯兰教又有更大的权柄，更大的权力。That was Revelation nine fourteen and fifteen. 这是启示录的九章十四到十五节。So if they're only loose for this amount of time, ah,、uh, loose, loose. Ah,、uh, ah, uh, 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 如果他们是 OK， 如果这个时间是嗯， uh, 正是他们就是这个放松的时间的话 ，Then this is when、um, Islam will be restrained. 然后这个就是在一八四零年的八月十二号，这个伊斯兰教呢，呃，被限制。在哪里？在这一天，一八四零年的八月十一号。The Ottoman Empire， 这个奥斯曼啊，奥斯曼帝国。Did have to um submit their power。确实是要嗯，把他的，就是把他的权利。Here it was the Byzantine Empire giving power to the Ottomans. Then, in the top, it was the Byzantine Empire giving power to the Ottomans. Then, in the top, it was the Byzantine Empire giving power to the Ottomans. Then, in the top, it was the Byzantine Empire giving power to the Ottomans. Then, in the top, it was the Byzantine Empire giving power to the Ottomans. Then, in the top, it was the Byzantine Empire giving power to the Ottomans. Then, in the top, it was the Byzantine Empire giving power to the Ottomans. Then, in the top, it was the Byzantine Empire giving power Uh, this was Britain and Austria. Then this is England, Australia, and Russia and Prussia. Uh, Russia and that, and there is Prussia. And then, really, the rest of the chapter, Revelation nine. 九呃，其中是九章的其余的这个经文。It just deals with the appearance of the Ottoman army, how they looked. 嗯，然后就是看这个奥斯曼的这些人，他们是怎么样的。呃、uh, ，One thing I think I need to correct from last time. 我现在想要呃纠正一个上一次的错误。Is I said the verses in Revelation nine. 然后说这个《启示录》九章的第九节 ，verses seven, eight, and nine. 啊，《启示录》的九章第七到九节 ，describe the appearance of the Ottomans. 然后是啊，描述这个奥斯曼的这个啊形状特征。If I did say that, I was wrong. 如果我说了这个的话，那我是错的。It actually describes the appearance of the Saracens. It actually is a description of the Saracen people's characteristics. And then, as I say, the appearance of the Ottomans are described in the second row. Then, the Ottomans are described in the second row. Then, the Ottomans are described in the second row. Then, the Ottomans are described in the second row. Then, the Ottomans are described in the second row. 然后我们还有看到其他的这些，在第二第二大灾祸里面，我们已经看过了。Describing the horses and the horsemen, etc. 然后呃，用那个什么马或者这些东西来形容的。Okay, so what exactly happened on August eleventh, eighteen forty? 在一八四零年的八月十一号，到底发生了什么呢？ So you had Turkey or the Ottoman Empire. You 看到土耳其或者这个奥斯曼帝国 
and um, they had already taken over the whole of the Byzantine Empire. They did this in 1453. Uh, you remember the first woe only hurt the Byzantine Empire. Because under the first woe, they take the whole empire except the capital. The capital was Constantinople. And then eventually in 1453, they, they also took Constantinople. So under the second row, they take out the whole of the Byzantine Empire. So In other words, they kill the army of Rome. And and you can see that language used in the verses. Revelation 9.18 It says um, that this, that the Ottomans killed a third part of men. The third part of men refers to that part of the Roman Empire, basically. Okay, in 1453, um, the Ottomans used a new type of weapon against Constantinople. Um, they used a cannon to blow down the walls of Constantinople. Uh, um, I've heard it said that this is the first time that this new weapon was used against the army of Rome. Or at least it was the first time it was successfully used against the army of Rome. So you can see that this is when um, the Ottomans were loosed. Because they took over the whole of the Byzantine Empire. They killed the army of Rome. Under the second world. And so nothing stood in their way. They were loosed. And then on August 11th, 1840, they were restrained. So what exactly happened here? Um, so you have Turkey, the Ottoman Empire. And then 
to the south you have Egypt. Now the This is 1840 now. Now this is And over here you have Europe. Now Again, this was Britain, Austria, Russia, and Prussia. Uh uh And the situation in 1840 was that Egypt was hegemonous. Hegemonous. What is it wanted to expand its borders. It wanted to invade oh. other countries. Oh, so actually it was um it was interested in Syria. It was advancing towards Syria. Oh, and by this time the Ottoman Empire wasn't strong enough to resist. Egypt. So the Ottomans had to ask for help from the four great powers of Europe. So And they agreed to help Turkey. But basically, they said you have to give up um, your power to us. So here, the Ottomans agreed to give up their power to the four great powers of Europe. So again, here you can see the end from the beginning. And it was August the 11th, 1840, when they made that agreement. And the reason it added power to the movement and the message because Josiah Litch predicted this event. Using William Miller's Day for a Year methodology. Now, what's very interesting is that the first military clash what is a clash? A military attack. As a result of this agreement, occurred on 9-11. So on September the 11th of 1840, exactly one month after the agreement, uh, Britain and Austria uh, they send their navies to Syria and they attack the Egyptians 
他们来袭击这个埃及。呃、um, ，at Sidon and Beirut in Syria。在这个叙利亚的这两个叫 Sidon， 还有是这两个，呃呃，他讲的这个两个的地方。Okay, so that's um the basics of the second one. 这个就是呃第二大灾祸的一个基本的知识。But what does all this mean for us today? 然后这些对我们来说意味着什么呢 ？So we've looked at the principle. 我们看了这些原则。Of the triple application of prophecy before. 然后就是这个。预言的三重应用，以前看过这个预言的三重应用的啊、呃、解经方法。If you remember, we looked at the three Elijahs. 如果你记得，我们曾经看过这个三个以利亚的。And we said、um, the first Eli, the characteristics of the first Elijah. 我们看到这个以利亚的第一个以利亚的特征。Plus the characteristics of the second Elijah. 然后再加上第二个以利亚的特征。Hello, the characteristics of the third Elijah. 然后就是变成了第三个以利亚，嗯的特征。And you can demonstrate this with different subjects. 啊，你可以呃用这样的方法来，嗯呃，可以做其他的关于其他上面的一些题目。The characteristics of The first Israel, that's Jacob. Now, uh, 第一个以以色列的呃、uh, 特征，雅各。Plus the characteristics of ancient Israel. 然后再加上呃、uh, 古以色列的这个特征。Can tell you the characteristics of modern Israel. 可以告诉我们这个现代以色列的这些特征。The characteristics of the first Babylon. Uh, this first Babylon's characteristics. That's the Tower of Babel. Uh, 就是这个巴比塔的这个呃、uh, 巴比塔的特征。Plus the characteristics of the second Babylon. 然后再加上第二个巴比伦的特征。That's ancient Babylon. 然后古以古巴比伦的特征。Tell you the characteristics of modern Babylon. 然后告诉这个现代巴比伦的特征，告诉我们现代巴比伦的特征。And where we will look in the future. 然后我们要看，嗯，我们也是在期待的这个未来。How the characteristics of World War One. 呃，这个第一次世界大战的特征。Plus the characteristics of World War Two. 然后第二加上第二次世界大战的特征。Will show us the characteristics of World War Two. 然后告诉我们第三次世界大战特征，呃，大战的特征。So let's apply the triple application of prophecy. 那我们来运用这个预言的三重预言方法。To the first and the second woe. 来，这个应用在第一大和第二大灾祸上。To discover what the third woe is. 来发现这个，从而来帮助我们发现这个什么是第三三大灾祸。So we've said already. 我们已经说了。That under the first woe. 呃，在这个第一大灾祸这下面。Um, these trumpet, the fifth trumpet. Punishes Rome for its apostasy. This fifth plague is to punish the Roman Empire. So under the third woe, in the third plague, you would have militant Islam. 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 然后，伊斯兰的军队他在惩罚这个罗马的这个叛教。Who is the army of Rome at the end of the world? 谁是这个在末世的时候罗马的军队呢 
We've said already in history. That the papacy is a church. So it doesn't have its own army. So it has to use um, the armies of sympathetic governments. Obviously, if it's successful, uh, it should use the army of the most powerful countries. Just using that logic alone, uh, okay, just, uh, 应用这样的逻辑, you can imagine that the papacy would want to use the army of America. And that's exactly the story of Revelation 13. Uh, it says that um, America creates an image to the papacy. Uh, and it enforces the mark of the beast, which is still in the future. So the papacy is using America as her army. Because America is being used to enforce the mark of the beast. That's Revelation 13. So under the third woe, you can expect um, these Islamic armies to punish America. And they're punishing America for their apostasy. Ellen White says um, uh, that America represents apostate Protestantism. And she says this apostasy is because of church and state. So just from reading Ellen White alone, you and I know that this um, religious right movement or they also call themselves the moral majority is totally abhorrent to God. It's totally wrong to God. God doesn't want to force people into Christian behavior. By forcing them to keep religious laws or Christian laws, so called. So when you see any president of America, um, Appealing to the Christian right or trying to make them happy. Uh, 
then you know that's not God's that's not God's way, that's not God's will. And that's the reason he's going to use um, this trumpet power to punish apostate Protestantism. But first, um, these Islamic fighters are going to hurt America. And then, He's going, and then, uh -huh. um, they're going to kill America. And they will use a new weapon to do so. And it'll be the first time this new weapon is successfully used. Against America. And that they will be uh, loosed and then restrained. Uh, So where do we see this in our history since 1989? Uh, you can see here we have September the 11th, 1840. And I think you might remember when we did the first way mark, 1989. We noted that on September the 11th of 1989, it was the very first border crossing across that um, Berlin Wall. And then on 11 9, or November the 9th, the Berlin Wall came down. So that's 1989. And then if you look at 2001, do we see some of these elements at 9-11? Do we see these elements at 9-11? On September the 11th, 2001, uh, Did we see some Islamic fighters? Punish America for her apostate Protestantism. And first hurting them. Uh, Using a new weapon against them, effectively. 然后他, 然后他们用这个新的武器, 
很有效的来呃呃打击这个美国。Because passenger airliners have never been flown into buildings before. 因为这个飞机呢，呃，从来没有呃很成功的，就是这个穿过这个大楼，以前从来没有过。And so Islam was loosed. 然后伊斯兰这个时候是被松开，在九幺幺这个时候。Because it successfully attacked America at nine eleven. 因为它。很成功的，在九幺幺这个时候袭击了美国，这个就表示伊斯兰这个势力被松开。嗯。And then it was restrained. 然后下面就是，呃，接着就是被限制。Even if you don't know. 就是你不知道这个任何的事，关于这个方面的事情。If I asked you what date do you think they were restrained? 然后你这个地方看，呃，如果我问你，这个伊斯兰的势力是在哪一天被限制的呢？从这样的呃地方看出来。You would be able to tell me just from this pattern. 然后从这样的模型当中，你你就可以会告诉我。You remember we studied chiasms as parable methodology. 呃，在这个比喻的学习方法当中，你可以看到那个镜子的结构。我们已经讲过这个镜子的结构。And a chiasm is basically just a mirror. 啊、uh, ，这个镜子的结构，嗯、uh, ，基本上它就是一个镜子。And eleven nine is a mirror image of sorry nine eleven is a mirror image of eleven nine. 九月十一号，它就是一个反过来，这个镜子里面反照的就是十一月九号。So on the subject of Islam being loosed and restrained. 然后这个伊斯兰被松开或被限制的这个关于这个题目。If they were loosed at nine eleven. 然后他在九幺幺的时候是被松开。Then you know that they were restrained on eleven nine. 然后你呃可以知道他的在十一月九号二零零一年这个时候又被限制。So what happened on November the ninth, two thousand and one? 在二零零一年的十一月九号发生了什么呢 ？After the attacks of nine eleven， 在这个九幺幺这个呃伊斯兰袭击美国以后 ，America organized， 美国重新的组织 ，a coalition of the willing， 然后他们就是呃愿意这个联盟。Um, it was um. The NATO forces. 然后这个北约的这个呃力量 to attack Afghanistan. 然后来袭击这个阿富汗 And the the first important decisive battle. 这个第一个非常重要的这个战役 which took an important um. Stronghold or town. Ah, 那袭击就是非常重要的这个城市。In Afghanistan. 在阿富汗。Occurred on November the ninth, two thousand and one. 是发生在二零零一年的十一月九号。That town was called Mazar e Sharif. 然后这个城市叫马扎马扎里沙里夫战役。And they say this was the first domino to fall. 然后他们说这是第一次的这个嗯战役。In Afghanistan. 在阿富汗。Okay, so this is when, um. Islam was restrained. 然后这个时候是在呃，这个时候是伊斯兰，嗯，这个呃势力被限制。In two thousand and one. 在二零零一年。So now we know what our second way mark is. 那现在我们知道什么是我们这条预言线的第二个路标。On the line of the hundred and forty-four thousand. 
，在十四万四千人的这个预言线上。Showing the first way mark is 1989. 我们展现了这个第一个路标是一九八九年。We know the middle way mark is always the Sunday law, which is in the near future. 我们是知道这个中间的这个路标一直是星期日法法案啊，这个呢就靠在我们不会呃走远的时间了。The fourth way mark is always the shut door. 嗯，这第四个路标呢一直是恩门的关闭。That's Daniel twelve one. Close the probation. This is this is Daniel 书的十二章第一节，嗯，恩门的关闭。And the last way mark is the second advent. 然后这个最后一个路标是基督的第二次复临。And now we can say this second way mark. 然后我们看到这个第二个路标。Is nine eleven two thousand and one. 是二零零一年的九幺幺。And yet, this prophecy isn't over yet. Then, this prophecy has not yet ended. To this point, because the army of Rome or America, because the army of Rome or America, um, that is the United States, obviously hasn't been killed. Um, to this point, it has not been killed. But if you remember, but if you remember, then Ellen White says. The four winds are loosed. Um, this four winds will open. At Daniel twelve one. In the Daniel twelve one, Daniel twelve one. We said the four winds represent Israel's last days. We said the four winds represent Israel's last days. We said the four winds represent Israel's last days. We said the four winds represent Israel's last days. We said the four winds represent Israel's last days. We said the four winds represent Israel's last days. We said the four winds represent Israel's last days. We said the four winds represent Israel's last days. We said the four winds represent Israel's last days. We said the four winds represent Israel's last days. We said the four winds represent Israel's last days. We said the four winds represent Israel's last days. We said the four winds represent Israel's last days. We said the four winds represent Israel's last days. We said the four winds represent Israel's last days. We said the four winds That militant Islam first hurt America. Uh, this militant Islam force, um, first hurt America. Um, in 2001. In 2001. In 2001. And then at Daniel 12:1. In Daniel 12:1, they will kill America. They will kill America. They will kill America. And that's because of their apostasy for passing religious law. Because they will pass this 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 law. Because they And that follows the pattern. This is following the pattern. At the beginning of the trumpets. 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 But if you remember the first trumpet, if you remember the first trumpet, we said the first Sunday law was passed in 321 AD. We said the first Sunday law was passed in 321 AD. We said the first Sunday law was passed in 321 AD. We said the first Sunday law was passed in 321 AD. We said the first Sunday law was passed in 321 AD. We said the first Sunday law was passed in 321 AD. We said the first Sunday law was passed in 321 AD. We said the first Sunday law was passed in 321 AD. We said the first Sunday law was passed in 321 AD. We said the first Sunday law was passed in 321 AD. We said the first Sunday law was passed in 321 AD. We said the first Sunday law was passed in 321 AD. We said the first Sunday law was passed in 321 AD. We said the first Sunday law was passed in 321 AD. We said the first Sunday law was passed in 321 AD. We said the first Sunday law was passed in 321 AD. To begin to bring down the army of Rome. Uh, 来开始来摧毁这个罗马的这个军呃罗马的这个国家，他的叛教。And then under the seventh trumpet. 然后在这个第七号的下面。A Sunday law of sorts, a Sunday law, a type of Sunday law will be passed. 然后这个星期日法案将会被嗯颁布 ，which finally kills the army of Rome。然后最后的话，他就会嗯杀死这个罗马的嗯全部的呃将这个罗马的这个
军队全部的杀死。So First Corinthians ten eleven. 在这个哥林多书，哥林多前书，啊，哥林多 ，sorry， 哥林多前书的十章十一节。It says all these things. 这里说他们遭遇这些事。Happened as examples. 都要作为这个见解。For those upon who live at the end of the world. 并且写在经上，正是境界我们这末世的人。In other words, history repeats. 在另外一种说法，就是这个历史将会重演。For example, 比如说 ，In Revelation nine， 在启示录书的九章十一节 ，Verse eighteen， 九章十八节。It talks about a third part of men being killed. Here, it talks about the third part of men being killed. Here, it talks about the third part of men being killed. Here, it talks about the third part of men being killed. Here, it talks about the third part of men being killed. Here, it talks about the third part of men being killed. Here, it talks about the third part of men being killed. Here, it talks about the third part of men being killed. Here, it talks about the third part of men being killed. Here, it talks about the third part of men being killed. Here, it talks about the third part of men being killed. Here, it talks about the third part of men being killed. Here, it talks about the third part of men being killed. Here, it talks about the third part of men being killed. Here, it talks about the third part of men being killed. Here, it talks about the third part of men being killed. Here, it talks about the 在这个末世 ，Babylon comes in three parts. 呃、uh, ，巴比伦有三个部分。Revelation sixteen. 其实是的十十六章。The dragon, the beast, and the false prophet. 呃、uh, ，龙兽和假先知。So the false prophet is one third of Babylon. 这个假先知是三呃巴比伦的三分之一。And Babylon can equate to Rome. Babylon can equal Rome. Babylon can be equal to the Romans. And the false prophet is America. Ah, false prophet is America. America is false prophet. So you can make application of Revelation nine eighteen. You can, uh, to, 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 uh, And say Daniel twelve one. Now, so Daniel two twelve one, the first chapter. A third part of Rome or a third part of Babylon. Then this, uh, Rome's three fifths or is Babylon's three fifths. Will be killed by these Islamic fighters. Uh, will be killed by these Islamic fighters. 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 Will be killed by these We'll look more at this way, Mark nine eleven. We will look more at this way, Mark nine eleven. We will look more at this way, Mark nine eleven. We will look more at this way, Mark nine eleven. We will look more at this way, Mark nine eleven. We will look more at this way, Mark nine eleven. We will look more at this way, Mark nine eleven. We will look more at this way, Mark nine eleven. We will look more at this way, Mark nine eleven. We will look more at this way, Mark nine eleven. We will look more at this way, Mark nine eleven. We will look more at this way, Mark nine eleven. We will look more at this way, Mark nine eleven. We will look more at this way, Mark nine eleven. We will look more at this way, Mark nine eleven. We will look more at this way, Mark nine eleven. We will look more at this way, Mark nine eleven. We will look more at this way, Mark nine eleven. We will look more at this way, Mark nine eleven. We will look more at this way, Mark nine eleven. We will look more at this way, Mark nine eleven. We thank you again for this message. 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 We th